Uh, I'm the founder of the company, which is existing now for 41 years. And uh, the company started in 1981 uh, from me. I'm an electronic engineer and I have a background of theoretical physics. Uh, so what have you been doing? What kind of... Uh, we have done technology? a lot of... Uh, uh, I'm an electronic engineer, in fact, and uh, I was specialized in uh, cybernetics. Uh, we started uh, 1981, uh, the company. Uh, in the very beginning, we started with a lot of innovative ideas. Uh, working with uh, the five factors that they are very important in life, like temperature, uh, vacuum, humidity, uh, and uh, light, and illuminance. And uh, we launched in the very beginning uh, chambers, growth chambers, and we were the first ones using uh, microwave humidifiers for a lot of, for better spread in the, in the environment of the chamber. Anyhow, uh, feeling the uh, pressure in a way or uh, the demand in the market for uh, more innovative products we started producing freeze dryers. Uh, what is a freeze dryer? It's a unit which can be small, as small as for laboratory equipment, as a laboratory equipment, or it can be also for production plant. Uh, what, the, what the freeze dryer does is that uh, he managed with uh, special conditions to pass a product from the uh, solid phase to the uh, uh, air without passing in the liquid phase. So this means that we freeze the product. And why we freeze it? Because, in fact, if we have a, uh, the conditions of very low, uh, very low vacuum in a chamber, then the uh, water, for instance, it is boiling in uh, almost zero degrees centigrade. This means that the product, the uh, natural uh, conditions of the product are not disturbed. Uh, this means that uh, uh, when the product is totally dried, uh, uh, the product can last for many years. It is a preservation of the product. And that is the freeze dryer does. Is it only about preservation or you can do many other things? You can do a lot of things. We, we can do, you can do a lot of things. We have made a lot of applications. We have done applications from uh, uh, food industry to food industry. We have done applications in uh, archeological findings, uh, clothes, uh, papers, uh, bones and, and so on. And also you can also uh, think about the uh, nanoparticles, which are uh, a very important factor, and that's why we present uh, our products in, uh, in uh, this exhibition. What do you do with the archaeological findings? Uh, for instance, uh, if you, uh, after a lot of years uh, in a cave, you find a cloth, a, a, a finding, a cloth uh, for 2,000 years old being inside the earth, and when you take it out, in fact, in the air, this is destroyed almost immediately. You can preserve it if you put it in a freeze dryer. You can preserve it forever. Uh, I can uh, count you a lot of applications. So the main application is uh, for pharmaceutical products because they are preserved, they need to be preserved and uh, they need to be sterilized also. Uh, our products are uh, spread all over the world. Uh, the, uh, we have facilities uh, in Germany and in Greece. 
the products are 100% made by us and uh, we came to a level that the uh, uh, quality of the product uh, we preserve, uh, we, we present in the market, they are top, absolutely top quality. We sell products, best in the world. I couldn't say the best of the world because it's always something better than you, but in a way we have customers uh, in, uh, from Indonesia to Paraguay and from uh, Turkey to Italy, France, uh, Great Britain, India, China not. India, yes. Why not China? Uh, up to now they were not, uh, we, would, we wouldn't have any, any customer in China. But I don't think that we afraid Chinese products. We really don't afraid. Of course, I cannot blame Chinese products. There are good and bad products as everywhere in the world. But uh, nobody uh, can say that uh, the European products are for sure better than the Chinese products. I think uh, the tradition in Europe and especially in Germany, where we are based, uh, we are, uh, let's say in Germany, famous for the uh, absolute production. Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't have a German accent. I'm not a German, I'm Greek. But I, I'm a German citizen for many years. And uh, that doesn't mean that uh, I don't have the, let's say, uh, the attitude of the German uh, society. It says cryo. cryo. Does it have to do with cryogenic? Yes, yes. It's cryo because it is deep. The product is getting into as a deep frozen product and then we follow the procedure. So, um, I know it's a cra strange, crazy uh, question, but can you uh, freeze dry a brain and wake it up like a thousand years later? Uh, I can't say this because uh, uh, this is something else which is beyond my knowledge. But of course, uh, in uh, cases that they freeze dry brains. Now, if they bring them back after 100 That's a different question. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I but don't people know. do that, right? They do cryogenic. Uh, Definitely stuff. yes. Definitely yes. And with your equipment? Uh, to such an, uh, an experiment, we didn't do it. But uh, for other experiments, uh, I can tell you that we have done a lot. Done a lot. Yes. Some things you can't talk about. No, 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 no. But uh, in uh, there are cases that, uh, of course. Uh, we are not supposed to to uh, launch them outside. Yeah, it's a secret. The yes. companies do a secret Yes, project. exactly, exactly. And they want to try something, do something, exactly. see if it works. Exactly, exactly. A lot of experiments. Experiments and exper we, uh, for instance, we have a lot of installations in university laboratories, and uh, of course, what they do. We don't know because they buy the unit. We uh, give them the knowledge to use the unit properly, but uh, afterwards we are not involved. But in inside the factories uh, where the products uh, uh, came to us mainly before they buy the units because we make experiments, of course they know what they are going to do. So when you uh, freeze dry something in the machine like this, yes, uh, you need to keep giving it power at the constant rate forever uh, for it to continue, right? Uh, listen, uh, the fact is that uh, every of these machines, from the very small to the very big one, uh, it has a, a cycle which is uh, giving the result. So you put the product frozen inside and then you get the product after it, the, pro the, the process is finished, you get it uh, as a as a dry product. You get, you get it as a powder or you get it as a dry product. And uh, for instance, you can deep freeze a strawberry, uh, put it inside, and after, let's say, 15 or 20 hours, it depends how you put the product inside, you get a product which is totally dry and it has all the properties which the natural product has. The, uh, the, the smell, the uh, aroma, the uh, natural properties, uh, everything. You put just 
uh, water on it and then it becomes exactly the same. And th this means that uh, all the properties of the products are remaining inside. That's why, for instance, the uh, people uh, f uh, flying to the moon, uh, <laughs> they, they get this kind of food. The food they get is freeze-dried. But they just open up the little package, put some order, and they're good. Exactly. And, and you're not getting sick. No, definitely not. And uh, these kind of applications we have done a lot. We have a lot of companies, food industries, that they, preserve, they have ready-made meals, which they are in a packet. You just open it, put it in the water, make a boil, finish. Uh, so you work with the people who send stuff in space? Uh, not directly with them, but uh, companies we we sold units. They have projects for this kind of operations. And so, once you freeze dry the strawberry, where do you store it? You can just put it uh, in uh, a packet, which is not coming into the environment. Uh, it's not attacked by humidity and uh, because the temperature is not a problem, mainly the humidity, because one of the factors that the product is destroyed is the humidity. The active water which is included in the product, this makes the product to be destroyed. So, water is evil? Yes. N uh, no. <laughs> yes. Not always. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. happening with the water? Why does it do that stuff? Because... Uh, when the water uh, is inside the product, then the product is exposed to, to different, uh, let's say, uh, process, which makes it to be destroyed after a while. Some processes are happening. Yes, exactly. H2O is uh, it, exactly. doing stuff. Yes. This is something, uh, for instance, which belongs to the biology and the chemistry. So water is life. And water death. is life. Yes, yes. Somebody Let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you just put it in one of those IKEA Ziploc bags. Yes, you can do that also. But uh, uh, when the product, uh, after the freeze drying process, uh, is going to be preserved, it can be for 20 years. It has to be uh, uh, sealed inside packet completely. Plastic. Plastic. But Plastics. Do you need to uh, suck out the air? From yes, that? exactly. So or it has to be, to be a neutral, vacuum. a neutral, uh, in a way, uh, gas inside. Because but air better, does something too. Of course, air contains humidity also, mostly, and air also it uh, can create problems to the product. So water's not good. Air is not good? Yeah. I thought these things were great. They are great because they bring life. But uh, a product which is, uh, let's say, going to be destroyed, it's life created inside, another type of life, which starts uh, uh, destroying the product. So uh, here at the Nanotechnology Conference, what kind of discussions you have with people? Uh, up to now, we don't have any. Uh, we did not make any any discussion, but it's uh, for sure that the uh, uh, nanotechnology products are also freeze dried products. Uh, sorry, no, sorry, yeah. sorry about the cut. No, no. All right, so let's try to continue. What yeah. We talk about? Uh, uh, what we were talking is that uh, the question was what is the relation and the correlation between uh, freeze drying products and the uh, nanotechnology and a lot of products uh, regarding uh, nanotechnology are freeze-dried in a way and uh, they are used in uh, electrochemical, environmental and engineered materials and especially in pharmaceutical industry. So uh, we are glad and we saw this demand in a way uh, worldwide because uh, all of the governments around the world they spend a lot of money in uh, uh, university programs uh, to develop 
nanotechnological products. And uh, you have something on the presentation here? Sometimes you talk about something on, the com on your laptop? Uh, I have a lot of presentations regarding uh, several things. I can uh, give you... what is our company. People can find you on your website. Yes, definitely. And uh, that is what we do. Less moisture, best quality. Less bacteria, longest shelf life. Less degradation, optimum logistical cost, because less weight. So, uh, in fact, uh, the industries we do work with, they are food industries, for food products. They are nutraceuticals. Pharmaceuticals, which is a great field. So there's a lot of stuff a lot. for you to work with. Yes. Yeah, so people should. I'll put a link to your to your website, and people can yes. just click through. Yes, of course. Pet food, floral, yes. Documents. Every, yes. Documents with all these applications we have done. Nice. So you've been busy. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Despite of the general conditions worldwide, right now we are very busy. Absolutely. And in those 41 years, you haven't only been doing freeze dryers. Uh, we have been working with freeze dryers, and that was all this time. Uh, almost all this time. Uh, we started initially working with uh, as a dealers because beside the engineering work, we, we had some dealerships and uh, this was uh, the inspiration to start doing ourselves. Uh, we are engineers, we knew the, the subject and we started. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you Thanks also. For your presentation. Yeah.